breathe. Forgive yourself for literally everything. And let's get home. Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you have not yet already, please, please, please subscribe to this channel. Like and comment below some topics that are uh, related to mental health and well-being and just related to overall well-being that you would like to hear me cover. Now, today is a little bit different. I want to talk about a success story that I have just had actually with self-concept and how it relates to the time delay that it takes to manifest the things you want. Now, before I get into this, uh, if you don't know what self-concept is, it's basically um, how you move about life based on your beliefs, based on what you believe about yourself, based on what you believe about other people around you, and based on what you believe about the world in general. And law of attraction is something that happens very naturally. I don't know why we made it complicated, but it's intentionally uh, seeing something in your 3D reality. So my success story is kind of minimal, kind of maximum, but you know, it's important to me. So I'm gonna say it here. I have a very small, cute, adorable rescue dog named Scotty, and he gets all of my free attention, and he gets all of my free time, he gets all of my love, and he was due for his comprehensive exam. Now, if you live in New York and you are a part of a large chain um, vet, you know how difficult it is to get an appointment, and I had been trying to call for days now. I mean days, seriously. And I woke up today and I was just like, you know what? I am going to get A, B, C, D, E, and F done today. And getting him an appointment was on that list, intention. That was my intention to get him an appointment. So I call the office, no one picks up, and they have the option of pressing zero to redial. And I wanna say, I did this for like, an hour i'll say there was a moment where i got someone online and then they put me on hold and then the phone cut off but all throughout me getting on the phone with them and making sure that appointment came through i had a time delay where they put on some upbeat music as you know as most hold music is and all throughout the time delay, I just said to myself in my head, of course they're gonna pick up. Of course they're gonna pick up. I always get what I want. I get what I want. I'm a person that gets what I want. They're gonna pick up and I'm gonna be so nice and we're gonna laugh and it's gonna be great. And they're gonna have an appointment for him ASAP. Now, mind you, while I'm saying these affirmations to myself, last week when I was trying to uh, schedule an appointment through the app, they said that they had nothing for the next two months. And I had started my manifestation back then because I said, no, that's ridiculous. That that doesn't mean anything to me. I'm still going to call. So back to the phone call. I'm on hold. I'm pressing zero so they can redial. And I'm so grateful for that time delay because I had a chance to get myself all the way together while I was waiting. I can imagine that if they answered any sooner, I probably would have been irritated. I probably would have had an attitude. I probably would have been on my Karen. I probably would have said, I'm going to report you. But you know what? I had the time delay. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to correct this entire situation. I am the operant power in my 3D reality. I have control over my thoughts. I have control over my mind. I have control over my life. So I kept saying while I was on hold, of course, they're going to pick up. Of course they're gonna pick up. Why wouldn't they pick up? Of course they're gonna pick up. I'm gonna persist because I love my dog. Of course they're gonna pick up. Of course they're gonna pick up. Of course they're gonna pick up. I'm not kidding. I was saying that in my head the whole time. And then I eventually got somebody. I eventually got another person. They put me on hold and then I got sent to voicemail. I left a voicemail and I said, I'm not sure how I got sent to voicemail but I'm gonna keep calling back uh, because my pet is overdue for an appointment. I called back, I held for about 30 more minutes and I looked at the clock and I actually said to myself, this is all gonna get done by 1.30. I kid you not, somebody answered the phone, she was really nice. 
Um, she was really calm. I thought with the, with how long I was holding, I thought for sure I was going to get somebody with an attitude. I was going to get somebody who was overwhelmed. Nope. We laughed about my dog's name and <laughs> we laughed about all of my family dog's name. And I got him an appointment for the following week, even though online they said that they are booked out for months. And that's why I wanted to make a podcast about this because it may seem one way in the physical realm, but you have emotional and spiritual power within you where you can shift things. And even though this is a small example, I know that this is going towards my larger confidence in my spirituality and in my uh, emotional control. So I just wanted to put this out there for anybody who wants to have more control over their emotions, more control over their life experience. You know, you're a spiritual being having a physical experience. And so it's really important to understand um, how special, you know, the breath that God put in your lungs, you have that power within you. And just like this could happen with, a pet this can happen with larger things in your life this can happen with your dreams and you know and the things that you have on your goals list it's just it's so important to have that time delay so you can get yourself together get your mind together get your view of yourself together get your view of the rest of the world together get your view of people around you together so that things can flow more in alignment with your spirit All right. So that's it. Once again, thank you for joining in to the I'm Okay podcast. If you haven't already, like this video, comment below your personal success stories. If you have questions, comment them below, subscribe to this channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Breathe, forgive yourself for everything. I'll talk to you soon. It is called I'm Okay from my latest project, Black Current which is available on all streaming platforms. I love you. Have a great week. I'm okay where I'm at.